Oh, girl. Tonight's show is so hot that P. Diddy is already trying to traffic it. <laughs> Allegedly. We don't know what the hell is going on with that story, but we do have a damn good panel to help me make sense of this funhouse mirror version of a world we're now living in. He is a fantastic comedian and writer, but he's best known as the only black dude who listens to Coldplay. Charles McBee, there he is in the house. Crowd goes nuts. She is an MTV legend, a Fox News sensation, and newly minted columnist of the Daily Mail. And let's not forget all of her fine movie work in films such as Shaving, Private Ryan, Pulp Friction, <laughs> and How to Lose a Guy in 10 Gays. The K Train, Kennedy is in the house for your rom com needs. He's, of course, one of the best comics in the country, and he's also not afraid of all the crime in New York because he's from Detroit. Sure. Say hello to the comedy bad girl, Diamond Dave Landau in the house. Hey, baby. Someone told me this morning in a meeting that this panel was going to go off the rails, and I was like, the joke's on you because it's never going to be on the rails. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Can we all agree? But to be serious for one second, Kennedy, uh, we do have to congratulate you on your column at the Daily Mail. Thanks, Jim. It is a smash hit, and uh, I have not seen you get shared this much since Fleet Week. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, away we go. Breaking records every year. Yeah, hey, check yeah. it out. <laughs> check it out. Click like. Like and share. Uh, great to finally see you back in New York. How I'm was happy the, back. Yeah, how was the migrant crime treating you? It's great. I was punched three times on the way here. <laughs> oh, you must be a TikTok influencer. Yes, it's great. Comedian <laughs> and a blonde. I forget yeah. that you're a blonde when you're not here. That's well, usually. Say. It's the wig I toss on over there <laughs> to make money. But how bad is New York? The other day I saw a guy get robbed at gunpoint while he was robbing a guy at gunpoint. <laughs> it's like, all right, so we've just quit, Eric Adams. We're done here. Uh, McBee, one question. Yes. Is your thumb tired? from deleting all the P. Diddy photos on your Instagram account. I, I didn't have that many P. Diddy photo, photos. It was mostly the text messages and <laughs> video from P. Diddy <laughs> the, over the last 10 years. You're telling me it's the private jet it's, travel it, that exactly. has your concern. Yeah, got to get that out of there. It's just me and Eminem on a plane. I get it. <laughs> yeah, that old eight mile caught up to you. Huh? It did, unfortunately. It's, folks, these are just jokes, which I only point out because a lot of people have lost their way. But not to worry, because this week, Donald Trump gave the American people a guide to salvation. Check it out. I'm proud to be partnering with my very good friend, Lee Greenwood. Who doesn't love his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents. Yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day, very hard to keep Americans protected. Also, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance are all part of this. God bless the USA Bible. What are the odds he thinks the King James Bible is LeBron James, by the way? <laughs> Stay focused. <laughs> the Trump Bible has some other differences. For instance, this time Jesus doesn't turn water into wine. He turns it into Diet Coke. And instead of washing disciples' broken down feet, Jesus sells them a pair of gold sneakers for $400 a pop. Uh, Kennedy, we can make fun of this all day, but I want to be sensitive because the Bible matters to Democrats, too. As you know, most historians consider Nancy Pelosi a phenomenal waitress at the Last Supper. Uh, <laughs> but... Tip your waitress. <laughs> Boy, do I some stock tips for you, Judas. Yes, so give me this. <laughs> Seeing as the country is $34 trillion in debt, and we are, don't you think we all need to start thinking of creative ways to make money? Jimmy, I'm glad you brought up fartsinajar.com. <laughs> that is a fine oh, enterprise no. that has been lucrative, productive, and quite stinky. I don't know that it's a real website, but I promise you its traffic is surging right now. <laughs> America's going to start an OnlyFans at some point. It's coming. I uh, think OnlyFans is what everybody has. I think there's only six people that don't do that now. <laughs> that's where the economy's at. Yes, that's, that's, that's what we do that, now. And, it, and the six people are guys with our physique that started in OnlyFoods. Uh, <laughs> it's, buy, it's, buy yourself a bear mask. See where you go. <laughs> see where this takes and a honey you. Pot. What do you think was a better themed Trump sales pitch? Bibles, okay, during Easter week, or the famous Trump burrito bowl on Cinco de Mayo where he said, I love the Hispanics. I think it's definitely going to be the Bible. Yes. I think there's going to be a lot of exciting things in there. St terrible things Jesus said about Chris Christie. <laughs> remember all these insults. Yeah, yeah, I didn't remember a lot of the parts. The first time be, around. I can't wait for the new edits. Well, I'm actually, in it. this version, he thinks it's Jesus and he deports him. Well, it's yeah. a totally different. <laughs> well, Stick with me. <laughs> McBee, there is a rapper named JC. Is who, there? Who had a song, well, as a black man who listens to Coldplay. And if ever there was a week to be doing that, uh, there was a rapper called Jay-Z who had a song, Can't Knock the Hustle. Right. Is there a part of you that admires the fact that he started selling Bibles in the same week they set a trial date for paying hush money to a porn star? <laughs> a part of me that admires that. It is the American way. Yes. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'll give him that. It mm -hmm. is the American way. Sell whatever you got to sell. 
But, but, go ahead. I just want to. I just want to be able to read the, some of those scriptures in the Bible that he's got <laughs> going on. But you're you're with me. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. And by the way, I don't think the Stormy Daniels thing hurts Trump as much as Democrats think it does. Hmm. Because number one, it's a zillion dollar industry. Number two, it makes Big Don look a more, more virile. Like you wouldn't expect a porn scandal from Biden. Nobody wants to watch Debbie does dementia. You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> someone will also have to hold him to do the action. <laughs> That's the whole steering thing. Yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> it's rough. And you know it'd be Jill. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Joe Biden's campaign is said to be furious because RFK Jr. announced his running mate this week and is now on a quest to get ballot access in all 50 states. Check it out. I hope the Democrats and Republicans are looking at those poll results and they're devising ways to keep me off the ballot. They're trying to keep me off the ballot and to frighten you into choosing between the two tired and unpopular heads of the Uniparty. Here we go. He sounds like how Biden looks. <laughs> <laughs> now, Man, White, House, White House aides say Biden is so mad about Kennedy's campaign, he's going to personally call Lyndon Johnson and talk him out of accepting the <laughs> VP nomination. I could see it happening. Uh, KFK, uh, K-Train, RFK's running mate is Nicole Shanahan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you for comment because I promised Jenny I'd stop looking up Asian women. Um, <laughs> give me this. <laughs> Are you disappointed Aaron Rodgers didn't get the nod? Uh, am I disappointed? Um, I, he's, he's all the Jets have is, at this I know. point. Even, even with the broken foot, Woody Johnson this week, <laughs> like, I guess we're sticking with Zach Wilson. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. For now, one billionaire, to, we may draft Nicole Shanahan. <laughs> they, She's they, better in the pocket. <laughs> yeah, Ser Sergey Brin. Oh. 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 Wow. 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 Google wow. that. Can you Google yeah, that? Right. I wonder if she was married to the Google, Google guy. Yeah. I will not have you <laughs> blaspheme Zach Wilson, the Jets' all-time leader in stepmoms. Okay. <laughs> it's a game of inches. Uh... That's what she said. Land <laughs> hey, Landau, the thing about RFK Jr. is his voice would be so soothing to listen during a time of national crisis, yes. would it not? I, I would enjoy hearing it. I, I have to do a show with him soon, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this delicately. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think anybody over Biden, I mean, at least he can complete a sentence. And yeah. when he meets people or has to go into public, he doesn't just shake a curtain and yep. grab himself. <laughs> so, I mean, really, I, I, I don't think he's going to win, obviously. Uh -huh. But are any of us going to win, really? Oh, the way, <laughs> no matter how this goes? No, this whole, he we makes all a, lose. He makes a good point. Uh, I'll give you this, though. Yeah. Uh, RFK Jr. has a secret weapon. Uh, Cheryl Hines. TV star, beloved the world over for her work on Curb Your Enthusiasm. My question to you, McVie, is a vibe guy. Which first lady would give the country the best vibe? Cheryl Hines, TV star, Melania Trump, supermodel, Jill Biden, elder abuser. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Jill. Uh -huh. She's she's been there the longest, mm -hmm. so she kind of knows the ins and outs. But I'm gonna be honest with you. The only Kennedy I'd vote for is the one sitting next oh, to me. Right oh, now. good oh. God! That's the endorsement that I was looking for. Right. Now I can launch my exploratory committee, <laughs> which is really, you know, it's just kind of a fun probe that I use at parties. It's hot. <laughs> Speaking of probe, P. Diddy. No, just, yeah. Hey, we're back on that again. <laughs> of course, I bring up first ladies because the Hamas. The terror group suffered a major setback this week as their wives banded together and stormed out on the men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> All right, so this goat escape really happened near Arlington, Texas. I want to be accurate here, so please know that the women have not left the men of Hamas. They're not allowed to. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Nobody is off and running harder this week than Major League Baseball, which kicked off its season on Thursday. The smart money in Vegas has the Los Angeles Dodgers winning it all. But to be fair, most of that money was bet by one man. <laughs> <laughs> that is Dodgers star Shohei Otani, who begins the year under a cloud of suspicion as rumors continue to swirl that he was gambling on sports. Otani held a press conference this week where he spoke through a translator to accuse his former translator of stealing nearly $5 million from his bank account and betting it on sports without him knowing. As excuses go, this is right up there with telling a cop, I don't do cocaine, I just like the smell of it. <laughs> Panel, are we buying this? Not at all. Not In even fact, kinda. I think that the new interpreter is stroking a hairless cat going, five million, that's child's play. <laughs> Ten million dollars by the playoffs. Show hey. I love that his I love that I love that his interpreter is Dr. Evil. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's amazing. Do you buy this? No, and I think everybody owes Pete Rose an apology. Let him back and, into the yeah, game, and right? Spot in the Hall of Fame. Do you know he jumped on that today? He, he said should. he's like, I wish I had a trans. Translator, and I could, you know, I could get away with this. I wish she 
had a translator that was also sounded like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where he's like, look, he's sorry, but come on. You want like an Amazon, like called a Rocco, <laughs> yeah, like a personal exactly. assistant. Uh, he's like, Rocco, where's the closest bakery? Go yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what just happened? <laughs> McBee, do you buy it? No, I'm not buying it. I agree with uh, your Pete Rose thing, but at this point, I feel like all sports is corrupt. At this point, I'm sh I'm shocked. I'm suspicious when a, when a sport isn't corrupt at this point. Yeah, you kind you kind of on that side of it now. Yeah, you've lost your childhood yeah. innocence. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm in that phase. Do we have them as a sponsor, but why should we go with this? Well, we did like five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, good. No, I'm kidding. They're no. actually they're, they're drafting Lance Armstrong to pitch for the Dodgers. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> is that true? He's got his own one ball. Yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they say play ball. He's like that's insane. Insulted. Yeah, hey. They're like, no, no, I'm no, not the game. Not you, Lance. <sighs> Suffice Cheater. to say, needless to say, all of this Dodger has Dodgers fans clamoring for a more innocent time when the team was honoring drag queen nun strippers. At least when the sisters of perpetual indulgence passed around the collection plate, it wasn't a payoff for Bucky. All right, panel, we got a wild one coming up, and the yellow jacket will go to the panelist who has the best night. Yeah, the good news is you'll take home a jacket that was worn by every cabbie in my garage. The bad news is you'll take home a jacket that was worn by every cabbie in my <laughs> garage. So good luck with that, and we are here to get your Saturday night right. Jesse Waters in the house to go off the meter next. Plus, we're dipping into the bath salts with our game Fake News or Florida, and comedian Mike Vecchione talks stand-up dating and funny friends in his new special. Don't miss a second. There you